Okay, so I think everyone has like the time period they felt like music was like top tier. Mm-hmm. Do you know when that was for you or like what songs together just made you like this right here, this the this is it, this the golden era? I'd probably say high school. Mm-hmm. But it was around the time. I don't know if, if it was the music or if it was the fact that I had a car. I think some of the, both of them probably go good. Because, was it Keisha Cole? Girl, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a time. It definitely was. Riding around, listening. I might as well have cheated on you. As much as you accuse me of cheating, I might as well have. Girl, what, what, you, what kind of car did you have? Girl, Nissan Sentra. I remember, girl, you put me on to, what's that? Oh, Ole Fumio. Oh, <laughs> man. Styles Plus. That's is that what it's called? Styles Plus? Styles Plus is the group. Yeah, Styles Plus. And I was like, damn, I don't even know what he's saying, but I like it. Yeah. I think you, I honestly, I think you influenced a lot of my music, though. Really? I think so. And so, because I mean, I was riding with you. Oh, yeah. So I was listening to Pretty Ricky yep. and T Pain mm-hmm. and Dirty RB. That Dirty RB? That mixtape. Listen, that <laughs> mixtape was different. You no, know, and uh, I'm trying to think. Big of what Chief, else. Big Chief, yo, put me in a pink. Mm. Um, I was saying, "How the strokes are better, girl." That whole album was. I want that album. <laughs> me so bad. too, and I do not want to fuck this DJ to get it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a stipulation what, almost 10 years ago when we asked for Girl, it. And what, what would you do if you fucked him in the DJ's like, I was just lying. I lost it. I, I, ain't, I ain't never had it. That's okay. I got some for you too. <laughs> wait, wait three to nine, wait three to six months and see what pops up with you. Nigga the fuck. <laughs> I don't feel real, real low down and bad. Like, why would you do that to me? Girl. I just came, I'm sure I, just, it I just came to listen to some music. That's it. Right. Well, get it I, get I just it. came here to listen to Big Cheese. And we'll get the old mixtape. That's, That's it. it. Um, I, okay. I don't know why this is so significant, but mm-hmm. Alicia Keys, you don't know my name, and um, because Con- I think at the same time Kanye West um, and Ooh. Jamie Fox, um, Kanye too, the college same thing? dropout. Yeah, yep. I think it's the same time as um, Slow Jams. They used to be my. I don't. They Ooh. used to be my goddamn song. You know, what I listened to the other day. What? Um, Overnight Celebrity. And I watched the video, uh-huh. but that shit looked terrible. The video. <laughs> Why? I was like, why did we really think that this shit? You remember when they used to do like behind the scenes? What was it called? MTV? Oh, the, making the video. Uh huh. I was sitting there. I was like, bro, this shit looks bad. You watching the making the video? No, no, no. Oh, it the, made me think. Uh-huh. I was like, we really thought that this shit was like mm-hmm. top tier. Mm-hmm. That shit looked really bad. I mean, but it's no different than like old Sega games and shit. And yeah, that's and, sure too. You know, all that shit like. You give a kid today like Paper Boy or Sonic from back when we was in school. They'd be like, "What the fuck is?" It? Yeah, all right, Grandpa, get, get, the, get this shit away from me, Grandpa. Yeah, not Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, it's a lot of stuff now. Like I, I was watching one of the um old um Bad Boy videos. I was like, "Damn, this is a million dollar video." Now, why were you watching Bad Boy? Well, you know, it came across. It was <laughs> like the was it was a been around. I don't remember what it was called. It was a montage. I didn't just. Click. <laughs> I didn't click on Puff. Let me let me watch all the Puff Daddy's greatest hits. <laughs> you know, I really miss Diddy. Let me go watch his videos. <laughs> nah, and, and the conversation wasn't like that at all. Right. It was old school videos play. But I'm like, that was a million dollar music video. It was like the explosions and the, I'm playing Girl, and I'm everything telling you, else. I was watching that shit. I was like, this shit looks bad do you still watch music videos though oh girl yeah mm-hmm. i do oh because you watch youtube yeah i watch you play, YouTube. You play on youtube yeah i'll be playing my youtube mm-hmm. channel yeah i'll be watching my music videos mm-hmm. especially my favorite mm-hmm. <laughs> who break from toronto party next door mm-hmm. that is one of my favorite videos to really watch girl i don't know what it is he looks so good Mm. I don't think I've ever seen it. You've never seen Break from Toronto I don't video? Think so. Oh yeah, no. I love the it's nothing special. Uh-huh. But I just love the video. What's the, okay, what's the first music video you remember seeing or the most like prominent when you think when you think about a music video? Mm. Personally, mm-hmm. it's probably I ain't got no panties on. <laughs> That's wild. I ain't got no panties on, <laughs> on, on the, the dance, dance floor. floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the first one. Girl, I was um watching, I was on something yesterday. I was like, 
the Sammy video, I like. Oh, when that's. I tell you, because my mama had. Um, that's a good one. Well, it was a what's the what's that movie thing the video thing you can request videos back in the day. The, I, it's not a black box, but it was something. You, it was ninety nine cents, and you could play request the video to be called um, play next. You remember that? Uh uh-uh. uh. Girl, I I remember one time I blew my mama phone bill down because it was you can call the line and request the video to be played next. So I replay. I requested um. It was ninety nine cents per request. Yeah, I went and I requested Sammy back to back to back. <laughs> Oh, they probably like, yeah, y'all, she on the phone again. <laughs> Go ahead and run it. Go ahead and play it. <laughs> Girl, yes, yeah, Sammy, I like. Oh, that was my, that was my jam right there. I like the way you look at me. I like the time we spend, baby. I like what we have grown to be. I like it. Yeah. Don't, Don't you know I like it? That was my shit. I loved me yeah, some Sam. I remember that song. I wow, love bro. me some Sam. Ooh. Bro, we getting old. we're getting older. We're not old. Man. We're getting older. No. Because I had I had somebody and they told me their birthday. They said 2026. Oh, no, 2006. I was like, Damn, I, that's the year I graduated. And you grown? <laughs> you almost grown? Damn, they 18. You almost a woman. I don't want to think about that shit. Like, they don't even seem like it's been that long ago. I don't know. At, it's mm. like after I graduated high school, the whole world, this just passed by in a blur. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes whenever I be saying my age out loud, I be like, mm. <laughs> what you, how you be feeling? Mm, I be saying it loud. I be like, December 17th. <laughs> Girl, I ain't gonna lie. On these creator forms, I be lying. I'm like I'm thirty. I'm thirty two. <laughs> bro, that doesn't make a difference. Nah, some they be because uh, thirty five is considered older. Really? Hell yeah. So I'll be in the thirty five to forty four category. I'm like, whoa there. Yeah, I, I don't need all that. Whoa there. I don't need a menopause fan. They, they be send, that's what we send. <laughs> menopause supplements. They want to send me. I'm like, like whoa there. I don't need it. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still a youth. <laughs> I'm, Pussy's still active. I'm still young. I'm, I still got my cycle. Yeah. <laughs> She ain't left me yet. <laughs> okay, and they don't no fluctuations either. That bitch come on time. Yeah, I know that's right. All right, so you have your song this week? I sure do. Okay. Damn, oh, I'm about to say an ad popped up. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So here's a story from A to Z. You want to get with me, you got to listen carefully. We got M in the place who likes it in your face. We got G, like MC, who likes it on an easy V, doesn't come for free. I don't know this. She's a real lady. And as for me, ha ha, you'll see. I don't know this. Slam your body down and wind it all around. Slam your body down and wind it all around. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Bitch. Make it last forever. That was, that's in the song? Yeah. Slam your body down? Yeah. Oh, I didn't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> you I, listen to the Spice Girls? Yeah, but I guess I didn't know what they were saying. Wow. If you, I, know that, I thought that was easy. If you wanna be, I know that part. If you want to be my, my lover, lover, you got to go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Spice Girls had us in a chokehold, dog. I like the Spice Girls. Yeah. I like the movies and everything else, but I didn't, I wouldn't like, oh, I got to listen to Spice Girls. I used to have the Barbies and everything. Oh, yeah, nah. Run people and play. You know, I heard something random the other day. What? Okay, you watch Golden Girls, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know they said that Sophia was the youngest one? Hold on, so who's Sophia? <laughs> the mama. You a fucking lying. <laughs> no, nah, ain't no fucking way. <laughs> ain't no fucking way. Are you gonna, I, she was? <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't no fucking way Girl, I told my boyfriend I was like yeah they said Sophia he said nah <laughs> ain't no way Sophia was nah Hell and nah. I turned on girl and girls he was like nah <laughs> uh, uh, nah they said Sophia was the youngest I don't hell nah younger than Betty cause I th- you know even before everybody, everybody started dying I'm like I know Sophia did that's the same thing I said <laughs> I assumed Sophia was the first one to that's go not, that's so she was your youngest <laughs> I was just like, oh, I never confirmed or anything. I was like, I know Sophia left and then Dorothy. Hell yeah. No, but I think she was like I think Blanche left before Dorothy Dorothy. Yeah. I think saying. Dorothy died and then Betty White. I think it was Sophia, then We don't know. Sophia might still be alive following. Sophia, so- <laughs> what if we kill Sophia? <laughs> Sophia's been alive this whole 
Okay. Hell yeah. Damn. I'm going to look that up. They said. All right. That's what I heard. Well, hey. Oh, that dude. I didn't do my song. God damn. You sure didn't. Shit. Okay. Uh, what we did last night got me one to call her. If I wasn't real homie, I'd probably stalk her. Oh, no, nah, bro. <laughs> From the hood, she get drunk. She talk proper. It's applies. Yeah. <laughs> got kinky with her. Told her dressed up like a lawyer. What's, is it that wet song? Uh uh-uh. uh. I was. Pussy? Uh, I don't think that's he. Oh, that is he. That's like one of his first songs. <laughs> I was the judge last night. Gave all the orders. Worked it real good. Turned around and doggy styled her. Shawty? Uh uh. Uh. Told her if I gave any more, might have to charge her. Yeah. Tastes like sugar. Smell like water. Now she in the goons off of all I taught her. I don't know. She my bussy. Yeah. Oh, baby. baby. And I forgot Neil was in this fucking song. And he's canceled, bro. Neil's canceled? Girl. I, I feel like Neo is nothing but chaos. You ain't see him. Now he got, he, he the polygamous. <laughs> I, but that, that's what you should have did the first place, Neo. Niggas don't be wanting... That's the reason why niggas be wanting to be polygamous. They want to cheat. Instead of instead of telling this woman... Instead of getting that first one to tie her two, then marrying somebody else and letting her have two babies and she know her all of her creation, this is what you should have did in the first place. Girl, I'm telling you, because isn't... Doesn't uh, he have kids with Monietta? I think so. Well, I, I think Monietta is like his first wife or something. I, I can't remember. I remember he told her he wanted her to tie her tooth, but she wanted more kids. That's like the best thing Monietta did was get away from him. A nigga like mm-hmm. Neo, you are going to just have to constantly, you, you'll you never be young enough for him. Mm-hmm. No one said anything about, everyone like, all right, Crystal, all right, my girl. Because <laughs> <laughs> Crystal got what she deserved, according to the internet. Who would they say? Same mm-hmm. way you get them, same way you lose them. Good job. Speaking of words, well, hey, best friend, we ain't losing shit. Mm-hmm. Period. Ain't it a blessing? You are listening to another episode of Here You Podcast. Podcast. This is Tam. And this is B. You ready to get started, bro? Let's go. Hey, let's get it. Ayo. Breaking news. Courtesy of Simone, our black fact checker, <laughs> we can now confirm to you that Sophia was indeed the youngest. But we also can confirm to you that we were right. Sophia died first. Sophia was the first to, to go. To succumb. We are happy to report here from Hear Ye News. And just for you know, just so you know. <laughs> Signing out. <laughs> I <thought> you said, <laughs> <laughs> something wrong with you i know <laughs> child okay so you ready to get started this with the shit because at first we was like what we gonna talk about and then as we sat longer we was like you know what it's some shit it's some shit that didn't popped off it's definitely some shit mm-hmm. okay so let's start off with let's do a hundred rounds okay uh now i open up my instagram and it's <laughs> erica banks twerking oh okay <laughs> erica <laughs> let's start off with let's do a hundred rounds okay miss netta Y'all, your lunch is ready. <laughs> uh, goals. Dick. <laughs> Yo, why the fuck? That's the first thing I thought of. I don't want to say skin. Oh, you just said it. <laughs> it's all right. Damn, bro. Okay. <laughs> so y'all probably know Miss Netta, mm-hmm. Charles. Mm-hmm. They got Instagram, and, you know, internet mm-hmm. famous. Mm-hmm. I think it was TikTok famous for mm-hmm, them. Miss mm-hmm. Nether used to make these big elaborate lunches for Charles. Mm-hmm. Tell him, Charles, your lunch is ready. Mm-hmm. And Charles would get on camera and sit down and eat the mm-hmm. shit. And Charles sit down and mm-hmm. Nuttle. Thank you, Nuttle. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the gist of his conversation. Girl, mm-hmm. you know, so they done got famous, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, they were saying that people were recognizing them out. Did you see they caught them using that? Uh, oh, sound. Yeah, that sound. Uh-huh. Miss Netta, Char- Miss Netta, uh-huh. Charles. <laughs> caught them doing that. Uh-huh. So this week, Miss Netta and Charles decided to take their asses two hours up the road mm-hmm. to Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> to goals. Mm-hmm. To go get some fucking free plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. 
Goes said, if you have any type of notoriety at all, we won't come you. here. Come lay on our Bring table. Bring that ass here. Bring that no ass here. We finna let you hop out with one. Bring it here. Bring your tits. Bring we, your ass. Bring your your BMI arm. high. Fuck it. We don't care. We don't. You got high blood pressure. Get the fuck, fuck out of here. On. Low iron, bitch. Who? We yeah. got, we live iron, bitch. Yeah. We don't care about no low iron. Or fuck. <laughs> no, not low iron. We live we iron. Live iron. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Goals. I don't even know how. They're open. They're they're open. They over here doing. I'm not gonna say no dr type shit because I feel like even a dr turns some people away. <laughs> even a dr be like, you know what? Let's let's let's. How about we first do a, a gastric revision first? <laughs> how about we get first do a, a something first, and then we'll go along with the other right. stuff. Right. I'm just like, this is crazy. And to get those results, bruh, <laughs> I never saw. Okay, Miss Netta got lipo and mm-hmm. uh bbl mm-hmm. charles got ab sketching or mm-hmm. whatever the fuck mm-hmm. they both look a damn mess it don't look it don't look realistic at all it don't look realistic. charles look like somebody just drew on him <laughs> <laughs> he looked like one of them you know them moldable them little snow things that's like clay but you can mold it oh. don't make no mess and shit like they look something like this etched it into his stomach <laughs> yeah for but real. i'm just like how you 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 got this chiseled abs and you still got love handles and titties and everything else like it just don't make sense i don't know if this is his first one he going back for more because you know who do look i'm gonna give you know who do look good oh roly roly been looking a little and roly went to goals too right she did but she went multiple times as well but I, I feel really, really like I ain't trying to be skinny, y'all. Like I'm trying to, get, you know, get a little. Okay, I feel that. Right. I feel like Charles said, "Give me the, give me Ken." <laughs> I want good, like him. I, I want abs. Yeah, I, want, I, want, I want that. I look out him. I, I want my stomach to look like yours. <laughs> look but, at the doctor. Lift, lift your shirt up but, for me. Add two more. <laughs> <laughs> two. Bruh, that shit looks fucking terrible, dog. Mm-hmm. We are in some nasty times. Mm-hmm. Where first of all, people are becoming famous mm-hmm. for nothing, mm-hmm. absolutely nothing. Mm-hmm. Like we'll we'll make anybody famous. Pretty much, you got it gets, it gets entertain us long enough, and you can you two can be famous. You got Miss Netta and Charles. Mm-hmm. What's some other examples? Risa Tisa. Risa Tisa. Well, El- okay, I feel Risa Tisa. I don't know if you ever. She's an amazing storyteller. I'll give her that. Dan snuck on TikTok, y'all. I don't know if you've ever. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie, I saw you. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Hold the fuck on. I know Dom was like, not you on TikTok. I, I said, shh, gotta be sneaky. I didn't even notice it at first. I'm Girl, thinking, I only downloaded TikTok to listen to Risa Tisa. I th- oh, okay. I thought you were commenting on the Harry Pop. But as Harry, I'm like, that's odd. And I was like, oh, that's that's actually you. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Girl, it's deleted. I don't know. Okay. I was like, I don't know if you've stayed there long enough to. So E Kane is a real uh, famous TikToker. Who? Her name is E Kane. She's famous for, she does like wigs and stuff like that. Uh-huh. But she's famous for calling her Coochie Big Moose. She's famous for having BV and famous for her baby daddy Chris. They talked about like show with her and Chris. She's and famous like for having BV. Yes, she's like y'all. She she. I guess she's relatable. She's like y'all. I couldn't figure out why Big Moose was still stinking. <laughs> it's like I wasn't drinking enough water, or I, I keep getting BV, and I'm just like, okay. So she relatable. That's why she's famous. Uh, what's that random dude from Atlanta? Oh, okay. I've heard that story. I never saw it. Though. More, yeah, more. She had the baby. Yeah, and found out he had all these other babies. And then, aren't they and together? Stuff. That's what they saying, child. I don't know. She she went somewhere, and I don't know, child. When I saw the first time when he came around and she started smiling because he told her baby happy birthday. You ain't been here all year. <laughs> you ain't been here all year, and he say happy birthday, and you get Google eyes. Oh no, bitch. and you don't think he's around because you got a little notoriety, girl. I don't. I, I'm trying to think of who else is like well known on TikTok or was. I'm trying to think too. I miss a couple people. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. Like, granted, she's on YouTube, but they started playing her video so much on TikTok that that's what kind of got her, you know, she all, uh, sprinkle, sprinkles a, a thing now. Yeah, you know, so that's that a, is, a, that is something a little thing. Say. We, we just, we'll make anybody famous, mm-hmm, dog. We'll mm-hmm. give anybody a little, a little, we'll give anybody a following. Mm-hmm. Just let him run with mm-hmm. it. Hell, look what we did with Gypsy Rose. Made her famous. She a famous killer. Damn, no, she is. You don't be thinking about that. You just, the story sounded the story, yeah, story, story is good. The story was pretty good. We don't watch so much fucking true crime. We forget it's true. Hell yeah, we hell yeah, we forget shit. The <laughs> shit is really heinous. We, we forget the shit. <laughs> that shit is really heinous. It shit is 
really <laughs> devastating a family here. And we're just like, damn, no. <laughs> Dude, I don't. I guess I've never really thought that. Like watching somebody story, I'm like, damn, that was good. But to somebody family, like, damn, I miss my auntie. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. I, I would have my auntie back, <laughs> girl. Girl, and whenever I be watching stuff, and they be like, damn, I never thought that it, I, it would be us. And I'm like, Shit. yeah, for real. In fact, hell that's yeah. fucked up. Hell that's yeah. fucked up if it happened. <laughs> girl, I'm just like, damn, that's that's. Real. I don't know if it's part of the, the desensitizing too and all that stuff. And I it know is. it's kind of like it's coming up on the, you know, to on uh, Wednesday. Um, they said that um, that they voted with the the bill or something like that. That they gonna take TikTok away, so they leaving it up to the Senate. I think they gave TikTok six months to sell to a U.S. or to somebody else instead of the China Corporation. TikTok, that ain't gonna happen. I th- yeah, TikTok's a some like I think it says like one hundred fifty billion dollar industry. Like why the fuck would I? Say? You know what? The TikTok shop and everything else, Damn. it makes a lot of money. It makes a lot of money. I know the people are taking their music off and stuff like that. Right. TikTok is basically like a, a <laughs> AliExpress. Yeah, it's like a market. And when I tell you, I'm so tired of getting melatonin and gummies and. Uh, what else? We over consume. We no, really, facts. we really, really consume facts. a lot. All them different offers for the spin brush and all the other shit, and it's not hard to influence nobody. Girl, it's not, mm-hmm. and I've realized that even with myself, because mm-hmm. like I said, there, there's one influencer, D Lolo. Mm-hmm. D Lolo get me every single time. Mm-hmm. What do you think it is about her though? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. I think. She makes stuff look so good mm-hmm. that I just be like, ooh, mm-hmm. I can go, I'm mm-hmm. going to look just like that. And I think, too, because she looks like a homegirl we have. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she she don't look made up or like uh-uh. someone that, you know, oh, yeah, she got money. You know, it look, she looks like a regular black girl who dressed nice. And she nice acts and looks, like a regular mm-hmm, black girl. Because mm-hmm. there was one time she had, resp- she had posted something on her story. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ooh, I need this. And so she was like, check your DM. So she DM'd me the mm-hmm. link to it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, girl, you get me every fucking time. Mm-hmm. And she's like, girl, I'm sorry. She's like, sometimes you got to hide your wallet. Mm-hmm. We love a non-gatekeeping queen anyway. Yes, and she mm-hmm. will send it to you immediately. Mm-hmm. It's not like these other ones. I'm sure you've seen it. Mm-hmm. Where it'll be like, comment need. Mm-hmm. And then you get some automated message mm-hmm. into your DMs. I hate, I, I really hate now that there are so many fucking, I mean, I, I get the need for education, but I hate there are so many fucking courses and ebooks. Oh, anytime you yeah. ask somebody a question, purchase the ebook in my bio or link in my bio, bitch. Just answer it. Is it two plot tissue or one? That's right. all I fucking ask. I don't want to know the other the shit. Like, you keep all that other shit. Yeah, and the shit don't be like they be just nothing against Chachi. I love Chat GPT down, right. but they be going to give me an inspirational quotes to put in the audio book, and I'm gonna find some Pinterest pictures and post it and like miss me with all that shit. Your books on me have no groundbreaking information. I don't right. be learning shit. Like it don't mean nothing. Like I don't know. So okay, since TikTok maybe come into a close, uh-huh. what has been your favorite thing so far from a TikTok? I don't know if I have one. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not real active on there. Hmm. Is that from TikTok? Very much so. Oh, I saw it in a uh, Sis You Smell Good. Oh, this, this, these blew up all over TikTok. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that that's where it was even like really popular. Mm-hmm. These blew up all over TikTok. Um, I mean, Canvas Beauty has a, a really oh shit, child. <laughs> Canvas Beauty had a really big follow. A, a follow oh, I think as soon as you opened it. Mm-hmm. But this was like. Girl, body glazes were all over TikTok. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't even know mm-hmm. that. Body glazes were all over. I saw everybody in uh, Sis You Smell Good posting mm-hmm. it. So I was like, oh, okay. Let me go look. Yeah, uh, let me give it a try. Yeah, let me go see. Let's see what the fuck <laughs> uh, Canvas talking about. <laughs> I think one thing that I'm going to really miss is that TikTok is really like TikTok is YouTube simplified. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. YouTube universities where you can go to find anything. But if you like, I need five minutes. How can I fix this toilet? You can find a TikTok video there or something similar to what you're looking for. And it's like condensed down. I think they even have 10 minute videos. But I feel like TikTok is um, has been pretty big at like just condensing stuff, which may be a problem, may not. Because, you know, our our tendon spans are getting shorter and shorter anyway. Smaller and smaller. That's why that's why I can watch the Reese Tisa, though. I'm like, see, but in me, I love like long form. Mm -hmm. I love that. I don't. If I see something with too many seasons, I'm if, if it's a good show with too many seasons, I'm probably not gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm I mean, probably gonna watch it because I know I had started watching This Is Us, mm-hmm. and then I was like, "Ooh, child, <laughs> it's a lot." 
and it was so fucking emotional like yeah, it's emotional this is us was so emotionally taxing mm-hmm. i was like bro i can't watch mm-hmm. this like and 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 good mental health <laughs> i can't continue to watch this <laughs> Nah, so it's like, yeah, let me turn this off. Mm-hmm. Nah, same thing with uh, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would never even try No, I start. did. And I was like, fuck, it's 16 seasons and everybody <laughs> done died already. Like, I can't, like, I, I I can't do it. You know what came back, though? Because we what? used to be real big on The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. They brought a spinoff back. I heard it's good. But I was like, I, I can't commit to no more zombies. And I, I got invested in, what was that uh, Asian guy's name on there? Oh, Glenn. I was invested in Glenn and all oh, that. I stopped watching after Glenn died. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I after can't. After that, I was like, yeah, no, I'm cool. It's the same way Orange is the New Black. As soon as Pusse died, I was gone. Oh, yeah, you didn't return. No, I sure did I not. I actually, I think I watched the lad. Did that was so tremendous. That was so traumatic. Why would they have <laughs> Pusse die like that? Yeah. With a knee to her neck? I forgot that's how she died. Yeah, I was just like... It was like a riot or something, right? Yeah, something was going on. They thought that she was like involved in it mm. and the officer. And, and and I think that that was before George Floyd. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes, I think it was before George Floyd. Oh, no, they tried, they tried to push her She's like, I can't her. breathe. I can't breathe. I'm like... Damn. Nah, bro, I'm cool. Yeah, <laughs> don't I, worry about it. I, I was just on here to to watch the the antics. I ain't come here to watch this shit. Okay, real quick, and then we gonna move on to something else. What's the <laughs> What's a show that you stopped watching because they was on some bullshit and you ain't return back to besides uh, Orange Is New Black? Oh shit! Because I'm gonna tell you one that for me, I, I, I almost I was like, you know what? I'm fucking good. Um, the shy. <laughs> <laughs> The shy almost did it for me, bro. The shy guy, it it went too far, dog. It went really black there for a second. Everybody was getting shot or killed. Hell yeah! Um, and then bring the nasty ass. And then the way they ended it and left him off, and then just came back like nothing happened. I'm like, yeah, it was a brand new show. Yeah, I'm just like, whoa. And that's another one. And, and Linda just gonna pull a dick out on you and <laughs> strap strap on it. Girl, just when make she pulled that strap out that backpack. <laughs> I said no remember she no she was uh oh maybe she pulled out the backpack but uh at the they wedding night yeah she pulled the strap I out thought, i thought she had it on in her clothes no i thought she had she pulled it out i don't remember i just re- i remember in different shit hell yeah <laughs> maybe it's two scenes but i thought the wedding night she pulled her pants off and the strap was already on that might have been it too because you, you was like why would she wear that whole strap <laughs> i think i did say that i said she had the strap on for the whole <laughs> wedding <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because maybe I ain't no strap warrior. I don't know if it's uncomfortable or not. But. I was wondering, like, how you get it down? Yeah. Maybe you just turn it. <laughs> just turn it down. <laughs> just flip it to the back. <laughs> strap sticking up the back. What, they got tuck? <laughs> Bro, tucking a strap is crazy. And going to be her coochie if she tuck it. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> it's gonna be inside if she keep on. <laughs> Soon as she sit down. <laughs> bruh, bruh, so it's you sitting down, the strap going in your ass is wild. That's not your ass. <laughs> That's a long strap. But it's not your ass. <laughs> they next door. They all right. <laughs> not to go in your ass. <laughs> bruh, that shit is crazy. Bro, I'm trying to think. What was the show that I was just like, you know what? I'm cool. I did get turned off on the shy. Mm-hmm. Um, I got turned. I, I do. I really just remember you saying it about Orange is the New Black. He's like, I can't watch them. I'm done. Yeah, mm-hmm. Orange is the New Black is probably the strongest. That mm-hmm. and The Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You're not going to get me that fucking emotionally invested Hell in a yeah. damn character to go and do that shit. Hell yeah. Not God really. damn it. I'm trying to think. Because see, I've been watching a lot of shows that are old. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of anything new. I can't really think of anything, mm-hmm. to be honest. But shows do be on some bullshit, dog. Not for real. I remember Power had turned me off there for a second. Girl, I stopped watching Power when, uh, I think the first episode, when I saw who the, the mistress was, I was like, you know, this ain't for me. Mm-mm. This ain't for me. And I, it was later confirmed when he said, Tasha, I just lost the love of my life. I was like, oh, girl, yeah, you right. This, this is how I know it wasn't for when me. When I tell you, I would slap fire out of his mouth. Father, fuck with Jesus. I don't care if she was the love of your life. Don't say that shit to don't me. Don't join her. She died, right? 
<laughs> you love her so much. Show me. Show me how much you love her. Okay, go be with her. <laughs> yeah, go be with her. Make y'all date the same. <laughs> <laughs> That is crazy. <laughs> make y'all date, make y'all date deaf the same. <laughs> Your date a deaf the same, man. bro. That's crazy. That's wild. Yeah. Very, very, very wild. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I guess healing to Charles. Yeah, and I guess that is Charles. He- healing vibes yeah, and good vibes. Hopefully, hopefully, you don't throw nothing. I just, I just don't believe that's safe. I don't think it's safe either. I don't, I don't know what they put inside you. <laughs> But I don't think it's safe. I don't. I don't think it's safe at all. Did you see who? It's was very it? exploitive. I can't remember who it was. I said that. Oh, SZA, mm-hmm. saying that she has a high risk of breast cancer in her family and how it had mark- markers and everything like that, and that she wasn't even supposed to get silicone and she got breast implants. Are you serious? Yeah, she said she got breast. She knew the facts and she's like, I have a high, really high risk factor. I even have markers on my um, screening that shows like I have a high risk for breast cancer. And she got breast, you know, breast implants. And then she started developing issues and problems and she took them out. But I'm like, that's cr-. like even someone like SZA. You know Girl, what I'm there's a lot of people. Because even you remember Kevin Gates' wife. Drika. Drika. Mm-hmm. She had to go get her breast implants removed. She said that they were getting her sick. I believe it. Shit, y'all be worried about COVID and the COVID vaccine and y'all got other shit. You don't even know what the hell's in there. Girl, I'll never forget whenever um, Ari Fletcher, when mm-hmm. she got her titties done and she was like, I have an internal bra put in. I remember you saying it. That I'm like, bruh, you want your titties to sit up that bad that you got to get an internal bra? Mm-hmm. Bruh, just let your titties do whatever they're going to do at this point. Hell yeah, niggas ain't gonna. Ain't, and you think a nigga ain't gonna suck them? <laughs> <laughs> and then you take your shirt off, you look like Frankenstein. Yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think. I guess that's the one thing I don't really think about too. Is like you, don't, you know, you have to. You go in there. There's gonna be a scar or something yep. left behind. So them bodies probably cut up and everything. Girl, I'm else. telling you, because I was at the dentist earlier this week, and um, the dental assistant she was talking to me, mm-hmm. and you could tell she wanted to talk about it. She mm-hmm. was like, "Yeah," she's like. She's like, uh, oh, I really like what you have on. She's like, yeah, now that I have my tummy tuck. And I was like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. let's go tummy tuck. Mm-hmm. But she was telling me uh, she's only like six weeks out. Oh, she back at work? Girl, back at work. Damn. But she said that her scar goes all the way around her waist. Oh, so she had a 360. Yeah. Yikes. And she's like, my stomach is super flat. She was like, I don't have no rolls on my back. She's like, but I do have a scar. And I'm thinking to myself, like, bruh, I cannot imagine having a scar like a hula hoop. <laughs> Look like a waist beat. <laughs> <laughs> like, and she's like, yeah, you know, my panties are going to hide it. But I'm like, bruh. Your panties. <laughs> you got to have them on. Yeah, you got you to wear them. You got to wear them when the nigga come over. <laughs> Slide them over. Yeah, I was just like, damn. Yikes. Like, there's there's no preventing scarring. Like, scarring is just a it's, part yeah, of all it, that. You're going to scar. You're taking some shit off your body. Shit, you might keloid if you got certain skin. You might you might want to hold off on there. And that's what she said. She said she's prone to keloiding. And I'm like, yikes. Bro, I hope and pray you ain't got one big keloid around your oh, boy. Yikes. Ooh. I don't know. I think I think there's new stuff that can help treat it and stuff too. But like you just gotta go in like whatever you get done, they're gonna have to close it up. Yeah. And you're gonna have something there to show it's that incisions and staples. Yeah. And I've seen and people do like the tattoos over it. Like you can tell. Yeah, because it's like who else got a tattoo that's going mm-hmm. right above their panties? And line? it's bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> like Braille ass who, tattoo. Who who else got that? Facts. Mm. I don't know. I mean, it's always flowers. Yeah, <laughs> healing to all the girls. Honestly, yeah. whatever y'all do, it's y'all money. Spend it. Oh wow! Boy. I just saw Aiden Ross claims he was intimate with Sexy Red. Sexy Red said he hit her up after her tape was leaked. He said, "I did fuck Sexy Red." <gasps> Sexy Red posted and said, "You paid me to take your virginity, and <gasps> I did just that." Next. Oh. Aiden Ross? The streamer. I was like, who is that? Yeah, he's one of them Twitch streamers or whatever. Not you pay me to take your virginity. What? Wow. Okay, get his, go sexy. Go sexy. Oh, wow. That's nuts. That is crazy. All right. Well, shout out to them. Well, okay. All right, let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do 100 rounds. Okay. Drea. <sighs> Mint. You said mint. Mm-hmm. And then her swimsuit company, a brand. Oh, I forgot she had a swimsuit brand. You mm-hmm. show sure right. She's, I think she still do. Uh, football, basketball. Chris Brown. 
No, she should have said Capri Sun. What Capri Sun? When they said she left her son in the house with a Capri Sun. <laughs> I and she was it. out with Chris Brown. Oh, she, oh, she had like a, a what's the endangerment child yes, or something like that. She got her like own. child abandonment or some shit. Yeah. Uh, no, I left the baby to go party with Chris Brown. Oh, girl with a Capri Sun child. Sheesh. All right, so Drea this new this week decided to drop some news. Drea said, "Happy International Women's Day." Mm-hmm. As women, we navigate through so much, often leading us to question, "What is my purpose?" For me. The magic lies in motherhood and the awe-inspiring ability to bring life into this world over the span of two decades. Mm. It's my superpower. (laughs) And if anything can surpass the wonder of being a woman, it's the privilege of bringing another woman into existence. Okay. We are overjoyed to share our love for you, little girl. I am excited to speak words to the daughter I never thought I'd have. We are anxious about your arrival, but take your time. (laughs) This world can be tough, but you are being brought into a space of love, security, and adornment. Mm. Hashtag 28 weeks. Hashtag seven months. Hashtag coming May 2024. Now, didn't she have another baby too? No, she just has her son. I thought she had another baby with somebody else. Oh, you might be right. Hold on. I thought she had a baby with a... Orlando Skandrick? Uh, yeah oh it says drea already has two grown kids whoa two <laughs> <laughs> i know the other one grown i see he's the age of the, uh, the baby daddy mm. i could have sworn she had another baby maybe she had another little boy but i could have sworn she had another baby because orlando skinder played football right yeah Orlando skinder played football mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. Where can I find her kids? <laughs> That's wild. Right? <laughs> How many kids is Drake? I think she has two boys. Mm-hmm. You're right. Her oldest is Nico. That's the one that they claim that she left at home by himself. Mm-hmm. Oh, and she has another one, Drew. Drew Scandrick. Oh, well, how does he? Mm. Uh, 26. He's eight. Oh, who's like 20, what, 20 what? Oh, he was born in 2016. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so he's almost eight. Mm. Yeah, so she. this is her third kid. And the crazy thing is, of course, everybody's calling Drea a predator mm-hmm. because Drea's oldest son is the same age as the nigga she's having the baby with. Mm-hmm. So she's having a baby with Jalen Green. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jalen is 21 mm-hmm. or 22, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And Drea is 39. Drea's son is 21. And you know, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Because a part of me is like, girl, you having a baby with a baby. Mm-hmm. I, and I guess that's really my only thing. Like, it's, you having a baby with a baby. But you're not only are you having a baby with a baby, you having a baby with a rich baby. You know yeah. the nigga got money. Yeah. And we, this is something we need to be very honest about. Mm-hmm. Because I do think that it does need to be an equal playing field. Mm-hmm. If we're going to call niggas out for this shit, if mm-hmm. we're going to call it grooming mm-hmm. and all of this stuff, mm-hmm. then it's the exact same thing whenever a woman does it. Mm-hmm. You and this nigga are 17 years apart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to start doing math somewhere. When this nigga was 17, you were 34. Damn. When when your son was born, he was born. Thank you. <laughs> That's all the math you need to do. When your son, when you had his baby, when you when you pushed out your son, he was just being born too. When you were eighteen, when you were an adult, he was one. Damn. Like we gotta start doing some math mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. The math is not mathing, and this is not okay. If a nigga was doing this exact same thing, mm-hmm. we we would crucify him. No, niggas have been doing the same thing. Yeah, but niggas have been doing that. Mm-hmm. And see, the thing is, is that whenever it comes to these women, mm-hmm. I do believe that these young niggas, I mean, I think I've said it even with like little baby, mm-hmm. these young niggas grow up fantasizing about Pinky mm-hmm. and they fantasize about Drea. Mm-hmm. They fantasize about Amber Rose mm-hmm. and all these stuff. You don't think that a nigga is going to get some money and go get that mm-hmm. so he can experience it? Do you think there's a certain age then? Because, like, let's say, you know, MB, I don't even, I'm thinking, trying to think of a young nigga. And Ellie Chopper, I don't know how it is. Uh-huh. I think he young enough. 
But like, do you feel like it would be some type of way if he got with like Pinky? Like he said, I always wanted to be with Pinky and Pinky. I think over forty now. Yeah. Do you feel like it's the something too? Is it more so along him or her? I think both. Mm-hmm. I think both because at the end of the day, like it's one thing for him to like fantasize about you, but mm-hmm. you gotta also have some discernment within yourself and be mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, little young yeah, nigga, uh-huh. you cute, <laughs> you cute, and mm-hmm. I really do appreciate it. I but love, thank you. I'm not gonna have a baby with you, or be like you. You know, you my son age, Ex- and just keep it moving and stuff. You like know, that. like mm-hmm. just. Do it like that. Mm-hmm. Instead of it being like, oh, well, we're together. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're we're pregnant. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you are pregnant. The nigga is fucking one Vi- of the... Viral. Uh, <laughs> yes, he's one of the best niggas in the fucking yeah. NBA. Hell yeah. Um, What was it? Um, Dang, it was something else I was going to say regarding that. Because um, I just... Oh, no, because she had went on a clip and saying, you know, what if, you know... I don't necessarily have to be married to have another baby. What if you meet your best friend and you're like, you want to have a baby? Yeah, I want to have a baby. And I don't know if it's that type of agreement. Apparently, he went and got her tattoo, name tattooed or something recently. Of course, because you don't think that a nigga is going to fall in love with a woman who is 39 and mm-hmm. he's 21. Of course, he's going to fall in love. Mm-hmm. She is going to introduce him to some shit. Yeah, yeah. Gr- She's gonna vegetables. Put him- <laughs> Vitamins. She's going to put him on the shit. That, Probiotic. Like, She's going to put him on the shit that probably Chris Brown taught her. Damn. She's gonna. She's she's seen some shit. Yeah. You don't think Amber Rose is gonna teach a young nigga something that Kanye introduced her to? Oh, definitely, probably so. Yeah, my ex used to do this for real. Bingo. Hell yeah, no, definitely. Like some this stuff is not shit. okay. Mm-hmm. The fact that Cher is running around with a thirty-something-year-old nigga and she's eighty. She still will. Yes. Oh damn. <laughs> Wasn't eighty? Yes. Like this stuff is not okay. Mm-hmm. And just because somebody is of age doesn't mean that it's okay to just run wild with mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. You're you're twenty-one. You're still very impressionable. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Matt, matter of fact, your brain, his brain is still kind of soft. Facts. it ain't got the adult hardness and stuff and it, it's still growing so he's still almost a teen girl but when you think about it mm-hmm. when that baby is 18 mm-hmm. he's gonna be Drea's age right now damn and Drea's gonna be what 53 mm-hmm. <laughs> I I this stuff is not okay. It's, it's pretty wild. It's very predatory. It, it Yeah. It's very, very predatory. Bernie's Burgos running around with a little young nigga as if you're not a fucking grandma. <laughs> I kind of, on, on one aspect, I kind of be like, okay, well, you're not an average grandma. But she's still way older. Yeah. And I feel she's like. She's old enough to be a grandma. I feel like her daughter wants her to watch the baby. <laughs> <laughs> she probably do. I got to. What's your mama running around with M- NFL players? I got a hosting tonight. I can't go. I can't be. I can't watch no baby. Girl. I got bookings tonight. She's old enough to be a grandma. Mm-hmm. These little 21, 22, 23 year old niggas. They're not old enough to be grandpas. <laughs> <laughs> no but that but you're right it's they probably like oh that's my fantasy i've always wanted her mm-hmm. and now i have enough money to get her that's it's pretty wild it's pretty sick yeah. somebody beat your meat off to a 12 that's what i'm saying and Dude. now they're getting you in real life mm-hmm. and you come on now bro yeah. it, it's it's not it's mm-hmm. not a good look we have to call it we have to call a spade a spade mm-hmm. this shit is not okay these people have got to stop it's actually madness mm-hmm. I don't know, child. I, a there's nothing of, to me. It, there's nothing that can make me be with a 21 year old. A part of me feel like maybe that 21 year old and Drea got a lot in common. No, I don't know, fam. Drea, Drea, not the. She don't have to be the brightest. She, Life. Mm-mm. She, you don't just watching Drea that, on basketball wise and some of the shit she's. I'm like, you know what? She might but that have was more. Old Drea. Con- That's before she was with NFL players. I don't know. <laughs> NBA, mm-hmm. come on now, Drea. Drea know enough to go get a young nigga. She knew enough to pick him. And then they they brought out videos or something showing that Drea used to be best friends with his ex girlfriend. Girl, get the this, fuck. All of this shit is a fucking okay. So scheme. okay, so now that is a messy shit. And that, it's a scheme. And I'm like, dog. oh yeah, that's wild. Your best friend, nigga. They Wait, are, was the best? They are going out and seeking these niggas. Is the best friend her age or his age? No, best friend's his age. Her best friend is his age? Bruh. What are you doing with the 20-year-old? Now, hold on. The nigga, I'll give you the nigga. <laughs> I'll give you the Scheme, nigga. Scheme, dog. I, why do you have a 20-year-old best friend? Scheme, dog. Why do you have a 20-year-old best friend? Scheming. That's, Fucking scheming. That's wild. Scheming. I'll give you a 20-year-old nigga. 
Cause some of these niggas, you don't even no, know. I don't give you a twenty-one. I, I give 20 you a twenty. Year old nigga. I give you a twenty-year-old nigga. I don't give you a nigga that you're double his age. I don't give you that. Sorry. I give you a nigga. I give you a nigga, and you're not knowing him. But you have a twenty-year-old. Like what? As a best friend, a best friend's job is to keep you from doing some bullshit. What do you have in common with a twenty-year-old best friend? Girl, you would probably have more in common with a twenty-year-old nigga than a twenty-year-old best friend. Yeah, I I agree with that. <laughs> You'd probably have more in common with him. What are you doing with either one of them? that facts are facts are made that is crazy so to me it's not like she's hanging around her, her son's friends bro she's scheming that's wild this is y'all all of this is intentional the and i i'm sorry these women they're not having these babies on accident mm. these babies are not like oopsie <laughs> these babies are not like oh man oh we didn't know you think the- this is the next 20 year float or something like that or comfortability girl what like absolutely i'll be honest i didn't know who Jalen green was until all this stuff so i don't know i had heard of him before because mm-hmm. i heard he's like an nba max player or some shit like he gets paid the max oh damn yes like Dre ain't well you can't say Dre down that's that's what i'm saying and that's i also why. think that there's a lot of women out here that they play on that whole like i'm i'm ditzy mm-hmm. i don't know what's going on i'm done and meanwhile you're calculated as fuck mm-hmm you know exactly what the fuck you're doing. Yikes. I don't know. To post it on women's history. history you, I don't know. You should have posted it next month. Girl. Oh, but the, the post for women's history. Then the, you already knew because you turned them comments off. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's just wildness. I don't know. I, I, I think if I had that, I would have never. I wouldn't even post no pregnancy pictures. You're going to just catch me. I would never be pregnant by a 21-year-old nigga. You, Ever. I, yeah, I'm not I'm not even saying a nigga name either. I would never. We're so happy to announce. That is sick behavior, dog. Why won't you leave him for the women that are his age? Like that's literally the world that we're living in now. Mm-hmm. All the old niggas is trying to get to the young women mm-hmm. and all the old bitches is trying to get to the young <laughs> niggas. And I'm not even Andrea's not even old, but yeah. you're older than older. him. Mm-hmm. You're old enough to where he could be your son. Old enough to know better. Oh no, no! I don't know. This it's just, it's just wild. It's nasty. It, 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 I'm, I ain't gonna say nasty. It just seems it's nasty. Dog. It seems very. It's nasty. It seems irresponsible. It's it's predatory. Mm-hmm. It's nasty. It just it don't seem like it was like a thought out decision. It seemed like it seemed like you two ought to be doing some bullshit like that. No, I just I just happened to be get pregnant. You don't you know? have that's what I'm saying. You don't have nothing in common with these people. Like besides a circle. That's that money. Besides the circle that you run in. Like, mm-hmm. that shit is that shit is sick to me. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. It's very sick. That is literally like me being at the high schools right now. Mm-hmm. And whenever she was friends with his best friend, uh, I believe he he was like in the beginning of his career. Mm-hmm. So now you're looking at just a super young nigga and mm-hmm. you've just followed his whole Bro, project, imagine yeah. me being up at the high school right now, just looking to see mm-hmm. who finna graduate. No, nah, look at see who got the best stats. Well, I know UNT came out here after him. This nigga was a fat ass scholarship. This nigga going straight to the league. That is sick, dog. That is strange. That is that is sick. That is wild. Bro, Drea, you need to be ashamed of yourself. You need to be ashamed <laughs> of yourself. And all the women who think like you, I don't give a fuck about that. None of that. Uh, oh, he's over 18. Da, 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 da. He's legal. The difference between 17 and 18 is one day. Damn. That's true. That is that is true. It Not could be it could it could be a couple of hours. Shit, I'm telling you, it could be midnight. Mm-hmm. I could have been 17 uh, two minutes ago. Facts. <laughs> Not cool. Uh, and in about three years, how let me Molly Cyrus? <laughs> Look, I discriminate. <laughs> no, for real, heavy. I'm not fucking with none of that. At all. All right, let's go ahead and go over to our last topic. All right, uh, let's do a hundred rounds. Okay, Juice World. Did he die by gunfire? Drugs. Oh, okay. I was like, is it the one sensitive? The other one. I was like, one of, one of the two the niggas die from now For day. real. Drugs. <laughs> uh, Chicago. Locks. Freestyle. All right. <laughs> okay, so y'all remember the late uh, Juice World? He died, I believe, like maybe three years ago, four. Don't give me this. Don't give Somewhere me around there. Mm-hmm. Um, but his ex-girlfriend, her name is Ali Lottie. Mm-hmm. She's actually gone online this week. Mm-hmm. 
uh, to let everybody know that she is selling a few of his items. So a few weeks ago, she claimed that there was somebody who was going to threatening to leak a sex tape of the two of them. Juice World and her? Yeah, her and Juice World. Mm -hmm. So she said that they were going to leak this sex tape. So to get ahead of it, she went ahead and leaked the sex tape on OnlyFans. Okay. I guess that wasn't enough. Okay. So now she has decided to let everybody know that on OnlyFans, (laughs) serious buyers only. Okay. Another batch of J shit. Need money for boyfriend's bail by Monday. Yikes. Yikes. Wait. It's wait. I know the need was desperate, but it's for bail. It's for bail money. Oh shit. Supreme boxers. And now mind you, all of these items belong to the late juice world. Mm-hmm. Supreme Supreme Boxers, two hundred dollars. Mystery dirty laundry pack, one of ten. $2,500. Damn. Preserved juice dread, $100. <laughs> Special deal, 10 for $9.99. <laughs> Dalmatian Supreme Tea, $550. One of one SO yellow puff jacket, $12,500. Sheesh. A regular tooth. Huh? A, th- wait, a, to- <laughs> what? a tooth? A tooth, bitch. How much is tooth going for? A hundred dollars. Oh shit! Sharp tooth, two fifty. Huh. Molars, one thousand. Where the fuck she get all this nigga teeth from? <laughs> is she the tooth fairy? Where the fuck Girl. all this nigga teeth coming from? Girl, one <laughs> ounce vial of juices, juice, ten k. What's the juice? Nut. <laughs> that just took us my breath away. <laughs> His nut? His nut. She's selling his fucking nut. Wait. How the fuck? Where's she been keeping it? How is nut good after three years? I mean, the sperm died after three days. I don't know. Like, where has this been stored at? I guess if you freeze it. I don't know. Sperm got a vibe. Like, it don't last that long. So, so what's someone going to inseminate it? Hard. Now, this is sick. Girl. <laughs> his nut? So, his hair, his teeth, his nut. The only thing she fucking missing is his damn skin. I was like, his body. And we got, his, we got juice for a dermis. <laughs> like, <laughs> Come get it. <laughs> Selling for 3000 Well, this, this is nasty. And at the bottom of it, she says, thanks, guys. I work really hard for what I have right now. Life is great. No. No. Where, did she dick this thing up? Where the fuck is she getting teeth at? Bruh. And look how many dreads. And see, that's what told me like Juice World didn't start his dreads up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he added he added some hair onto there because I was look extensions. Yeah, he started with <laughs> he started with some baby locks and added those into there. That is wild. This is this is really, really, really fucking nasty, dog. And then how does her boyfriend feel? He don't give a fuck. She getting rid of the shit to try to get him out. He, he probably like, man, I've been telling her to get rid of all this shit. That's wild. And she just not selling it. And then imagine being his family. Juice World's family? Yeah. Hell yeah. And seeing this shit and being like, bitch, what? You know, trying to make 100K off of him? You know what's crazy? Uh, <laughs> and this is kind of random. But after one of our friends passed mm-hmm. and um, her, I never looked at her cousin the same anymore after she went in there and got out of them clothes from the closet. And then wore it to the service. And wore it to the service. <laughs> I remember. Like, you dirty bitch. <laughs> she like, ain't she, let, her, let her go on the ground first. You, you ain't had no black dress. <laughs> Everybody got one of them. <laughs> you had to go in her closet. <laughs> Not you wearing her dress to her funeral. Girl, you, you can get a black dress anyway. I could walk outside and find a black dress. Hell yeah, yeah, drop out the sky. <laughs> On a black dress. Oh, shit. <laughs> a black dress didn't hit me. Oh, I was looking for one. <laughs> what? I don't know. This, I I don't know how. Like, I'm just like you said, think of family. I don't know how I feel of my cousin or my loved one when my someone passed away. I don't have shit. Y'all and done came into going. Teeth. And, and, and jizz. <laughs> juice jizzle. You're selling juice jizzle. That is wild that to is, me. This is so sick. Not, it's so how sick. How's the sperm dog. going for again? Ten k. I mean, that sperm been sitting there for so long. Baby, come out with a whole heap of problems. You better not, girl. That's yeah. why I'm just like. 
And what's somebody gonna do to it? This is not okay. This is actually super disrespectful. No, nah, that that's a uh, that's a kit. Like that's a resurrection kit. Ooh. Locks and teeth and sperm. Ooh. What else you need? <laughs> that's they not. Well, that's just in the conjuring. Hell yeah, reincarnate another juice world. That's wild as fuck. Right, look, that's why I'm saying, bro. You be you you gotta be careful who you got around you. Facts. No, big facts. Because there's people who will keep and hold on to shit like this. Now, I don't know why she got that many teeth. Yeah, I mean, one tooth. Boy, how I, old are you? Seven? Why are you losing teeth? <laughs> nah, you, you, niggas be dumb be getting dental care. <laughs> they, and you know the thing with niggas, they'll rather get a tooth taken out than get it fixed. <laughs> You is not lying. They're like, they're going to take it out. We yeah, just, just remove you, it. You just need a filling. Nah, just take it out. <laughs> take it out. Like, damn, bro. You just need a pump cap. Yeah, you. Take it out. <laughs> take I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. We're just doing the cleaning. Uh, take them out. <laughs> a deep, you said deep clean, take them out. No, I don't for want them. No That's wild. That's a lot of fucking teeth. Bro, that is some very nasty behavior. Teeth. And then it seems like, you know, that kind of is a theme these days mm-hmm. because now there's some posts that are going up about Carisha selling a few of her items. Mm-hmm. Who was she selling? Carisha <laughs> got online. She started a Instagram page called Carisha's Closet mm-hmm. where she's selling some of her gently used items. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's selling Chanel. She's selling Gucci. She's selling Balenciaga. All mm-hmm. of that stuff. Mm-hmm. But it made a lot of people get online and say, well, damn, is the money drying up over there? Especially after Diddy. Mm-hmm. But I heard apparently she used to do like Poshmark. Mm-hmm. And so now she's like no longer decided to go through another like service. Mm-hmm. She decided to sell them directly on her own website. Mm. I mean, honestly, and someone like that, I don't, I can see, you know, okay, I'm not going to wear this shit ever again. The girls like it. You know, get a little coin. I can somewhat see that, but that's her making a decision for her clothes. Right. <laughs> Mr. Juice World can't make no old, old juice mommy or whoever else left that's behind. A fact. Can't make no decisions about that. This woman who because they weren't together when they broke up when he broke up, right? Yeah, no, they were. She oh, was there were. whenever he died. Oh, she was? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's even more wicked. <laughs> yeah, she was there when he died. Oh, imagine he died and she's like in the lot. Or no, the teeth. <laughs> He's a coming. <laughs> Nigga OD. <laughs> juice. 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 <laughs> he still won't hurry up. No, you know what she did? She was like, them. <laughs> this is sick. sick. <laughs> this is sick. Girl, how the fuck you get out of this? She needs to be investigated. She needs to be in prison for uh, damage to a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, she, well, I didn't think you're right, especially if she was there. She's like, oh, this is my moment. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sick ass fucking bitch. <laughs> Nasty ass shit. I'm I hope you don't sell a fucking thing. Uh, and I know that there's some Juice World. Remember the uh, our waitress the other day had on a Juice World shirt. Yes, I didn't remember that. Mm-hmm. There's some Juice World fans out there that'll probably be like, "Ooh, let me get it." Mm-hmm. I hope you don't sell a fucking thing. Let me get a lot. I want the locks like ten each. Oh, hundred dollars no, each. Hundred dollars a pop. That's wildness. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where could, I wonder where we could see if anything's been so, sold. I mean, she's posting everything on her OnlyFans. I guess so. when she done she'll take it down or something like that i guess so i'm gonna go look and see what it's <laughs> that's crazy it's fucking nasty behavior that's pretty pretty fucking wild. so you don't think that there's anything odd about carisha selling clothes no 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 i know a lot of ce- i know a lot of well i wouldn't say celebrities but mm-hmm. i would say i know a few influencers mm-hmm. they do that a shot of who time. sell yeah you know, their clothes. and they get shit free all the time it don't even, like i'm sure stuff she even like does she show her pictures of her wearing it or something or a lot of this stuff i've actually seen carisha wear mm-hmm. like that little chanel turtleneck sweater mm-hmm. which that turtleneck sweater is so crazy mm-hmm. it's literally nothing but a flap of fabric in the front <laughs> and a flap of fabric in the back your titties is out on the side. Mm-hmm. Uh, your a titties turtleneck. being out in a turtleneck <laughs> is <wild>. crazy. <laughs> well, it's a little on a pee. I don't know if that's the right word. She's selling that for, uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's not it. We're gonna, 
Definitely ain't no onomatopoeia. <laughs> You're gonna skip skip on past it. <laughs> Go ahead and skip skip me loo. Skip me loo. Mm-hmm. All right. You gonna skip that. So she's doing <laughs> I'll try to let you make it. All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's selling that sweater for almost three thousand. Mm-hmm. She's selling some Louis Vuitton sneakers for five hundred. Mm-hmm. Carisha saw everybody talking and she said, "I'm broke selling my clothes." Mm-hmm. When I always had Carisha closet on my website this whole time, mm-hmm. mind you, I've been doing this. Y'all people saying anything, LMAO. Yeah, I don't think that's a sign of being broke or anything like that. Unless she was selling the Chanel. Uh, turtleneck for two hundred dollars i'm like okay mm-hmm. yeah she needs some money right now but bad yeah i i don't i don't see nothing wrong like i wish i could do me a poshmark and sell my big ass clothes and somebody want to buy that <laughs> shit nobody want to buy that cheap ass shit i got nobody trying to buy my used shit and boohoo shit but that, I, nobody says it whenever the kardashians do you know the kardashians have a whole resale mm-hmm. website mm-hmm. where they sell all the shit they don't want no more they mm-hmm. selling birkins on there and mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. Nobody says anything whenever they do it. Mm-mm. I don't see nothing wrong with just repurposing your shit. You know you're not going to wear it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and just, I mean, and she could take it to a, a woman. And shit, but it's like, you want a better woman shelter with a Balenciaga. <laughs> you want a better woman shelter with your titties out. I'll beat your that. ass again. <laughs> I'll beat your ass for this purse. <laughs> like, you're just, fucking wrong. Yeah, that's just, I mean, that's just, I mean, that's wild. Yeah. I mean, so I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with repurposing and reselling your shit that you ain't finna Me wear either. and all the other shit. Because I seen a, a, a Mexican man with an AKA shirt on. <laughs> so I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't give a fuck no more. <laughs> Do what you want to do with your own clothes. <laughs> do with your own clothes. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I almost said something a little too, too far. <laughs> Whoa, AK shirt is crazy. <laughs> and he don't know what none of that shit mean. Like, he don't know none of the meanings. It don't even fucking matter yeah, no more. Really, no. Girl, I can't even rip it off of him. <laughs> you know, don't play about that shit. Okay, ask me, are you an AKA? <laughs> I see you have on pink and green, like the lady asked Ashley the other day. Huh? Oh. I'm like, you can't wear just pink and green? Yeah, it ain't got no signy on it. I'm like, what? That's crazy. Yeah. Well, all right. I ain't know they own the colors. That's how it be. All right. And so but we, that's all I got in this to go with the shit. I don't got no shit. I was trying to find my hair here. I was trying to be prepared. <laughs> this shit. Now I can't. Okay. Um, let me see. Because a couple of these are long. Okay. <clears throat> please try not to judge me for this never in a billion years would i expected this to happen i don't want to divulge the details of how me and this person were or well related we've always had a close bond like some of the same thing like some of the same things had the same sense of humor and same personality traits we had to live together at one point and our bond deepened to a degree it probably shouldn't have we started being cozy with each other mas- uh, messaging cuddling sharing a bed so when the coziness turned even more physical and it just slowly became more and more physical until it was a full-blown, unmistakable incest. I'll be honest. It was like the best test of my entire life. It probably, it probably always will be. It's like our souls were connecting through time. I'm Bitch, sure that's the souls of your mother, nah, <laughs> your ancestors. They weren't connecting through time. They were connecting through the family tree. Through resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> the passion was out of this world. Because I actually don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's actually very gross. Yeah, I think I'm all right. Sorry. I don't I don't think I want to hear anymore. That's fucking nasty. You reminiscing about fucking your family member? I'm cool. <laughs> well, basically, he said he sat the member down and told him that they had they had to end the relationship. Um but it they destroyed them ending it because they felt that they were soulmates. And apparently they went to the hospital for a full mental breakdown because other relatives said someone still loves or someone really shattered their heart. I feel horrible because I really still love them and may generally never forget anyone I love more. But surely this couldn't have lasted, right? You answered your own fucking question. What the fuck you broke up with her? (laughs) That ain't the way you broke up with your sister. And you didn't have to say say what the relationship was. I'm guessing that may have been like a half sister or something like that. What's, ain't that, ain't, what's incest? Incest ain't all family members. What? Incest ain't the whole family. Incest is certain people. I thought incest was anybody that you're related to. Is it? That's what I thought. Oh, I thought incest was like sister or mother, <laughs> father. No. I think inc- you could fuck your cousin and that's incest. 
Ah, do they got an incest? Yes, incest is family. Anybody you're related to. Because I feel like somebody came on one of our, po- oh, because we had a post like that and someone was like, well, it's only Westerners don't think you can be with cousins. We do it all the time. I'm like, ooh. No, I think incest is with anybody. Really? Yeah, let's see. And your family history? <laughs> yeah, anybody that, you know. I ain't gonna lie because they didn't want to divulge, but I'm like, oh, they gotta be a sister, a half sister or something like that. That's gross, Because for, for someone to have to come stay with you for a little bit? Uh... It says between people classed as being too closely related to marry each other. Mm. But then it also says the crime of having sexual intercourse with a parent, child, sibling, or grandchild. That's what I'm, Leia, yeah, something else like the close, <laughs> your core nucleus. Yeah, it says close blood relatives. That's the first aunts, thing. I- uncles, nephews, nieces, all that. I thought I the first thing I thought of was sister. I ain't gonna lie. That's disgusting, bro. That's the first thing I thought of. It, I always be like, you know, mm-hmm. teen mom child. Mm-hmm. Kaylin and mm-hmm. uh Tyler. Mm-hmm. I'm like, did people forget that they were stepsisters and stepbrothers? But they were together before the mom and daddy was, though. No, they were together after the mom and daddy. Oh, I thought they got together. I thought they got together and their parents found each other and they started their dating. Their parents was married. They got divorced. Oh. Yeah. In, in some way. <laughs> That's disgusting. You know who I'm thinking about. Who? He uh, had a baby with the stepsister. Who are you talking about? Oh, this is. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting, bro. I, I will more so I will give y'all a pass. No, there's no, no pass. I'm gonna no, give y'all no, I, no. I'm gonna give two people who are not re- like two horny teenagers who aren't related. I'll give y'all a pass. It does I, not matter. Mm-mm. Y'all are in the same house being raised. No, dog. There's no pass for that. Nah, I I'll give There's no pass. I'm gonna give two teenagers who have not been raised together a pass. Cause I feel like that's almost like teens will fuck anybody. Bruh, if that is your stepsister. <laughs> That is disgusting. Oh, they, and they had to be like, shit, we ain't related for real. No, and that's gross. You don't need no fucking, you ain't that fucking horny, dog. <laughs> that's how we think. There's a lot of people out here. Yeah. like you Your was, person don't have to be your sister. <laughs> <laughs> that don't have to be your person. I'm telling you, Just because y'all are born together, I mean, y'all got a <laughs> mate and everything else. That's nasty, dog. That actually makes my stomach, my stomach Your turn. tummy. All right, tummy. Yeah. That's how bad that fucking disgusts me. Well, I mean. Thank That's you, gross. listener of the podcast. I'm sure if you listen, you ain't gonna listen. No. Actually, stop listening. <laughs> but subscribe. Jeez, fucking sick bastard. I won't. Sorry. It's fucking gross. That's fucking disgusting. You over here talking about, hey, we, we're so in love, our souls intertwine. Yeah, you have the same fucking soul. I was trying to hear the same song. Uh, yeah, soul come from the same fucking family tree. No, that's why. That's why that's your twin flame. <laughs> your treacherous little twin. Hell yeah, that's your treacherous little twin. All right, no, treacherous little sister. <laughs> that's wild. You don't have to. You don't have to say who she was. I, I could. And even if I'm not right, I'm still gonna think it's your sister. Yeah, somebody close enough to be typing all that. Because even your cousin. I, 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 there's not one cousin I have that I'll be like, ooh, that nigga fine. I remember my cousin's girlfriend was on the phone with me and she was like, yeah, you know, he still work. And I'm like, can you stop? Huh? Still Girls talking about his dick still going. I was like, can you stop? That's, I my, actually, that's actually my big cousin. I don't want to hear that. I, yeah. I, it, what I'm going to do with this? I, sort of, I was like, oh, all right, girl. All right. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, what I'm gonna do with, oh, girl. Me, me next. I'm going to go see. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Is it big? What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, yeah, what am I supposed to say after that? Like. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, okay, girl. Mm-hmm. All right, girl. That's that's enough. Yeah. I, I actually don't want to hear no more. At all. I'm good on all that. Oh, I made my stomach turn. Yeah, Gosh. well, thank you, listener, for sending us your, in the words of Taylor, nasty ass letter. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions, Ugh. comments, concerns y'all have, you know, you can always hit us up at Hear You Podcast at gmail.com or Hear You Podcast on all social media platforms. Y'all can find me on IG right now at Where BB. B E B E, and where can I find you at? And of course, y'all can find me on Instagram, not on TikTok. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> at Tana Taught You, that's T A N N A H Taught You. All right, bro, you ready to get up out of here? Let's go. As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we'll talk to y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.